my name is Carrie Lockmiller, and um, I'm a student tech, and I'm studying uh, human oncology with a concentration in child life. Hello, everyone. My name is Colin Highsmith, and I'm currently a senior in chemical engineering. Hello, I'm Aaron Sams, and I'm a senior in chemical engineering. And we just want to thank you so much for being here and listening to our presentation today. So we started off this semester at Cookville Regional Medical Center, and we had the opportunity to spend four day or four different uh, class times there. Uh, talking with doctors and nurses and patients and just different stakeholders um, in that hospital uh, to come up with uh, what are some problems there and can we help with any and make any solutions. So uh, some ideas that they had uh, for us to explore were um, just IV poles, knowing when to change those, uh, a stool in the room that could be collapsible and more easily cleaned, and um, also just an easier, uh, more simple way to document. So, um, but what we decided to go with was tracking fluid intake. Um, and that was something that really sparked our interest just because of our, um, because of what we know combined. So, um, this fluid intake is important in the hospital because it directly correlates to the safety and the health outcome of a patient. Being hydrated is so important, but also some patients uh, have a fluid restriction. So patients with heart or kidney or endocrine conditions it's important that uh, they don't get uh, they don't get a lot of fluid. Um, so, with many different healthcare workers going in and out of the room, um, having some way to do a combined calculation is what was desired. Now, we would like to discuss how we uh, picked a particular design in order to address this particular problem. Now, fluid intake management can be measured in a variety of ways, but we wanted to focus on three particular design inspirations keeping in mind production value, cost efficiency, and friendly user interface uh, with the implementation in the hospital. The first design that we looked at was a flow measurement device. Uh, this marketed about approximately $26. The head of this device was reusable uh, between patients. It can actually be used with hospital mugs that were already used um, for patients now. However, the con of this particular device um, is that it was not easily um, used with the current hospital mugs that are there. Um, for the level measurement device, um, for this device, it markets about $30. It's very user friendly, um, and it can be um, used in between patients. Um, however, the downfall with this is the hospital would actually have to purchase a separate um, cup besides what they already have. The last device that we looked into was the mass measurement device. Um, this particular device markets for about $15. Um, and it also can be used in between patients and it's a user-friendly design. Um, so we discussed as a team how we could further collaborate on this design um, to make it in one unit or detachable. And so therefore, uh, our mass measurement device was actually the winner of the design inspiration um, that we decided to pursue. Um, so essentially, we wanted to look at the cost efficiency to see how marketable this product would be and how we could actually alter it further um, through a prototyping phase to determine do we want to make it one unit or a detachable unit. So at the start of our uh, prototyping phase, we ordered an Arduino uh, scale base kit. Um, and within this kit, it provided the electronics that we could use for the device, um, the wiring in order to um, communicate between the computer and the device, as well as uh, basic programming so that we could program the scale um, and an LED screen as well. But what you can see with this particular base kit after simply is there are some limitations. Um, the button that is to be used by the patient is inconveniently placed on the bottom plate out of the way. Um, however, we did like the glass um, that would be uh, the top portion of the scale. Um, and then the wiring also needed to be reorganized for fluids. So during our design phase, we kind of just explored some different ideas on how to integrate those electronic parts into something that would be useful in a medical setting. So our initial design, uh, we probably had some con preconceived ideas about what a scale looks like. So we designed this. Well, I guess we really didn't realize about sizing um, in SolidWorks and about how big it would be. So when it came out, we were like, we invented a scale. <laughs> so we were like, that's junk. So uh, we ditched that and just started it completely over. Um, so on our second design, we kind of left that behind and we wanted something that looked like a cup so the user wouldn't have to think about it. Um, only the healthcare professional would have to think about what it was doing. Um, so on our first iteration, uh, we really just were trying to feel like how the parts were gonna fit inside a 3D printed part. It's a little bit different than what we had experienced. 
Um, but we got a relatively good setup the first time and made some slight modifications into our uh, third version, uh, which is the final one right here. So basically it's a cup and it has the scale actually built into this layer and the Arduino and a battery can go in this level. And there's a screen where the user or the healthcare professional can monitor what the fluid, and that'll give them a readout based off what the starting amount was in that cup. Um, some ideas for uh, future development that we would have would be to continue some design iterations, maybe miniaturize some of the parts. Um, the scale of the parts that we were using were good for our prototyping phase now, but if we we're gonna move into like a development phase, we definitely need to miniaturize it and probably specialize more than just an Arduino. Um, also, we'd like to take it into like a healthcare setting and get some stakeholders to give some, give some feedback. Um, and I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Purdue for helping us print all these. Uh, <laughs> we uh, probably annoyed him a little bit, but uh, if there's any questions, we'll answer them.